hello my beautiful people i hope you guys are all well so in today's video i'll be doing a quick little thrift flip for you guys and turning this skirt into this cute little two-piece denim set so without further ado let's get into the video y'all know i love me a little mood board first so i just put together a few little inspo um picks for you guys just so i have an idea of like what i wanted i was obsessed with diesel's latest collection like a lot of it was um heavily denim based and i love working with denim so this was my little mood board inspo so the first thing i did was marked out on my skirt where i wanted it to be as mini skirts are in everywhere right now I wanted to meet a little mini skirt and then the remains of the bottom was going to be the corset top so first thing i did was grab my ruler and short and just marked out where exactly i wanted my skirt to be and then i just grabbed my scissors and cut along that line and then i decided i wanted to be i wanted it to be distressed so i decided to grab my tweezers and i was basically like tweezering the bottom i don't know if that's a word guys um just to give it a distressed look um so i was just literally getting my tweezers and just pulling you can also use um a seam ripper as well and kind of just drag it across the hem of the bottom if you want a more really distressed look but yeah just keep going until you're kind of happy with what it looks like so once i was done with the top half of my skirt this was the remains of what was left um so i had to be pretty strategic with my design so i just did a quick little sketch it's been forever since i've actually just sat down and did some sketching it was very therapeutic i was obsessed all the bad boys came out my color pencils my pro markers my fine liners i had so much fun doing this i think a little too much fun but anyway once i was done with my design this is my little sketch for you guys um I had to draw up obviously like a flat lay of what exactly it would look like so we're working with triangles so i measured my around the top half underneath my arms and that was 32 inches and then i measured the length that i wanted it to be which was 10 inches and then i measured um the bottom half of the triangle that goes diagonal towards my stomach and i decided that was going to be 12 inches so once I was done with that, I transferred all my measurements onto some pattern paper. I decided to just work in halves. So 16 inches is just across the front of my body and I halved it and made it eight inches. And then I did the 10 inches going down. And then I decided to add one more inch across the diagonal. So it's six inches down the side and seven inches towards my stomach. And then I grabbed another piece of pattern paper and transferred everything onto a fresh piece of paper in order to add all my seam allowance and then once i was done with that i used all my pieces and cut it out so laying down all my pattern pieces was another part that i had to make sure i got right otherwise i would not have enough fabric so i decided to do the front half of the corset on the fold so i'm just using the fold of the skirt and then the rest of the pieces i just laid accordingly um, I drafted that back pattern off camera. It's just a basic rectangle. So I'm gonna um, transfer those onto those two halves that you can see there on the right hand side. And then the other piece that is next to the center front piece, I'm gonna cut out two of those. So with my back piece pattern, I totally forgot that I had drafted that in the intention of using it on the fold. So I forgot to add a centimeter seam allowance on one side of the pattern. So I thankfully remembered before I had cut it. And then once I was done with that, I just placed it on top of the last remaining piece of denim that was left of the skirt. And then I just traced around that in order to have two halves. Once I was done with all my pattern pieces, it was time to sew everything together. Looking back now, I kind of wish I had done a two centimeter seam allowance rather than one, because you guys will see later on that in order to fold everything over, it was quite tricky. But yeah, I just went to my sewing machine and sewed everything together. And then I had only sewn the front panel pieces together, but then I had realized that for the back panel pieces, I had accidentally cut it against the stretch. So um, there was no stretch in order for it to like stretch across my back. So I had to just quickly think on my feet and I decided to um, cut it just a little bit shorter in order for it to be on the stretch. And then it did work out in the end, but um, ideally I probably would have put eyelets or a zip into it as I had to um, sew it together and it was a little bit tight to get on as I was like climbing into it. Um, so yeah, 
for future reference, remember to cut it against the stretch if you are using stretchy denim. But obviously in my case, I couldn't do that because I didn't actually have enough fabric in order to cut it in the correct direction. So I just kind of had to just work with what I had, which is kind of what I usually do when I do do thrift flips or I'm reworking stuff because I'm limited with the amount of fabric that I can use. So I probably would have bought a zip or some eyelets in advance in order to do this project. But I am happy with the end result. So yeah, once I was done doing that it was time to sew it together and then I decided to iron all my seams down. Ironing is definitely a new thing I've started to incorporate when it comes to my sewing process. I used to completely ignore this step or just not do it at all. But guys, it's actually life changing when you steam and press the fabric before you start sewing. As you guys can see, that's the press side, that's the unpressed side. When you guys sew everything down, the seams are just so much more cleaner and flatter. And then I just did the same process with um, hemming the actual corset. But like I said earlier guys, when it came to hemming this, it was a little bit fiddly and annoying because I had only done a centimetre seam allowance instead of doing two centimetres. So um, yeah, it was really finicky and annoying to work with. So ideally, if I had more fabric, I would have done a two centimetre seam allowance. But yeah, I just went to my sewing machine and did a top stitch over the whole thing with a contrasting stitch. So I tried to use the same colour that was in the bottom half of the skirt which is like an orangey yellow color i also decided to do a i guess you'd call it a faux twin stitch as i don't have twin needles so in order to do this you use the outer edge of your um sewing foot as your indicator as to where your half centimeter seam allowance is as you guys can see here um and yeah once i was done doing that i was finished with my set so that is my video guys i really really hope you enjoyed if you did please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already if you guys are new to my channel and be sure to check me out on instagram where you guys can see all the pics of me styling this fit but other than that i will see you guys next time peace